Hello Capricorn, how are you? And welcome to my channel, Green Lion Goddess. This is a weekly love reading. If you'd like to skip my spiel and the shuffling, then I will put a timestamp. Uh, it will be in the description box to go straight to the reading. This is a love reading, like I said, or earthworms just come out for you guys. So it can be any kind of, when I say love, it can be any kind of connection. It, that has a feeling to it so it can be romantic love it can also be a workplace connection it could be a family connection it could be a connection with a pet or someone who's passed over even so but they are general readings they may or may not resonate if they don't resonate then maybe you might want to check out your moon rising or venus signs or maybe just next time they might resonate uh what else do I have to say about this? Uh, they are not time specific. So it's a matter of when you get this is when you're meant to get the message. So if you're watching it now, there's probably something in it for you. And I will usually just follow one line of one storyline that comes up. So let's see how we go, Capricorn. We've got Earthworm for you and Peacock. Okay, brilliant. Now, I actually feel like you're the earthworm. What I want to say to people is that, you know, these cards, these animal spirit cards, they do present from elements. So the peacock is the element of air and earthworm is the element of earth. But I don't want people to get, I mean, despite the fact that I'm saying you're the earthworm and this is your element, oh, you could quite as easily be the, the peacock, the element of air. It's all just an energy that's presenting at the moment. So don't get caught up if I say, you're this and you're like, but I thought I was a fire sign or I thought I was an earth sign. I thought I was an air sign. Why are you saying I'm this fire element? So, yeah, it's just, I don't know why I'm saying this in your reading, but for some reason I am Capricorn. But let, anyway, I feel like you're earthworm and this is Peacock, the person that you're dealing with. Now, I actually feel like you're pretty chuffed with this connection here, Capricorn. This is something quite new for you and exciting. This is actually, and you're like, this person it might actually be really attractive. It might be a case of, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that this person is here in my existence, in my realm. And so this can also be new feelings that are emerging for somebody as well because the earthworm's a bit like the equivalent of the fool card in the tarot. It's beginner's mind. It's something new, something small, but from something small, big things grow. And I don't think your person might, I don't know if they know this is how you feel at this moment in time. I don't know if they're seeing it quite the same way as you, but I feel this excitement from you that this person is here. So, and they're just doing their thing. They're just, you know, doing their thing, being who they are, and you're just, like, oh my gosh, you're amazing. There's this real admiration for this other person here. And rightly so, like they are, I think they are, you know, either very attractive or they like to dress well, or there's just something in the way they hold themselves that people notice them. There's something about just they command, they're magnetic, they might command a presence, they might command attention without even trying, without them even knowing so this is kind of like, yeah, you're just they're in their company going, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm with this person. So let's pull a few more cards out because I'm not entirely sure that they're, they're paying that much attention to you just yet, Capricorn, but we'll find out. So let's ask, let's ask for some clarifiers for this for Capricorn. Let's ask for some clarifiers. Okay, for them, they got the Ten of Wands. Okay. Oh, they got four cards. Okay, there's something a bit different, hey? Normally they only get three. They've got the Three of Swords, the Devil, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands. So they're going through some stuff. They're going through some stuff from a previous relationship, which is why they might not be quite open and ready yet for this, but that doesn't mean they won't be. Let's pull some cards out for you. Let's pull some cards out for you. This one, I don't know what that is yet. They're flying out. Like this is this, just this excited energy around this. Uh, another one, we've got judgment. 
we've got, I'll pull that one over, the lovers upside down and oh, here we go. <laughs> what were we saying? The full card. Okay, this, I mean, oh, I, I am excited for you, Capricorn. This relationship has got so much potential. Like I said, it, it's got that full card there. It's a new beginning. There's a rebirth, I think, on a heart level here. It's like, oh, I can't believe this is actually happening to me. And this is all, everything I thought about love is sort of being turned on its head. So it's... I just want to look at that lover's card, sorry, upside down for a moment because I'm not getting anything particularly negative about that. I'm just getting this is something unexpected that kind of might have come out of the blue and it's just suddenly you've got these feelings or this person's turned up and you're just like, whoa. So you might not actually be in a relationship with them right now or it might just be more admiration. You're a, you've got a, someone new to admire here. But yeah, <laughs> admire them you do. But it's it's good. It's it's stirring you up on a deeper level. Uh, it's stirring up that your heart space, which is actually really good for them. We have the Three of Swords, the Devil card, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Wands. They have been going through some heavy stuff in terms of a relationship that hasn't ended well at all. It's been a bit of a burden to them. It could have been quite toxic. There's there's pain, there's sadness, there's heartache. They're still navigating their way through this. There's a lot of, uh, they're still kind of caught in the quagmire of all these feelings that are happening here. And so they're just kind of using, because they can't see or, or think clearly around this or they can't quite get themselves out of this, they still feel sort of stuck in this energy or this past energy, they've got the high priestess there that's just kind of intuitively guiding them. It's like it's like um, trying to sail in the dark and not seeing where you're going but just feeling the wind and feeling the currents. So it's kind of got that feeling to it. So, yeah, there is some heavy energy around them at the moment but that doesn't seem to be stopping you at all, Capricorn, from – them quite literally getting your attention and taking your fancy. So, yeah, this is like a crush or a secret and you're the secret admirer. Bear in mind, Cap, that you can also like reverse this. So this could be you going through all that and you've got a secret admirer. So, yeah, to kind of pick whichever side you think uh, you're on. But either way, like the secret admirer thing is not, creepy in any way i think it's actually really healing for the person that is secretly admiring the other person here we go we've got two cards again um just with that other person the fact they got four cards i think they might also be quite original in the way they do things they've got their way they do they don't get so influenced by other people it's like i've worked myself out this is how i like to do things and yeah there's something about they just do things their way their particular way. So we have these cards here for the connection, the big picture and culmination of vision. So I feel like this person is inspiring you. They're really inspiring you towards, that's why I was saying this is such a healing connection for you because even if you're not actually with this person, this person could be a celebrity even, or it might not even be anyone that you've ever met or known, or it could be someone, but I don't necessarily feel like you're in a relationship with them, um, but if it, what it's doing is it's triggering this these feelings that are inside yourself of inspiration that you can be actually doing things and fulfilling your dreams, and it, it's sort of a motivation and drive and inspiration that's coming out here. And so you're looking at the bigger picture of your life. We have the big picture there and just going, oh, well, you know, if they can do that, maybe I can do it. You, you're mirroring what you're seeing mirrored, what you're projecting onto them and getting mirrored back is something that's actually within yourself. So whatever it is that you're 
admiring and liking about them, that's actually what you're doing deep down is generating that those qualities within yourself, Capricorn. So that's why I'm just getting this connection is so positive for you. And it's almost like it's actually better if you're, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're not together and if they don't even know that you exist, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, they might, you might be in a relationship and yes, they do know you exist, but I'm just kind of getting, it's more about what's happening internally with you than actually the dynamic of the relationship. It's more about, yeah, how you're seeing them and how that's affecting you. So let's pull out a card from the angel. What do you want to say to Capricorn here, angels? What do you want to say about this connection? Abundance, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. You're manifesting abundance in your life. So it's kind of like saying whatever you, whatever they have, you can have too. So it's beautiful. It's amazing, Capricorn. All right, so let's pull some cards for the outcome of this connection as it stands at the moment. Let's pull some cards for it, Capricorn. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Empress, and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, here's abundance again. <laughs> here's the Empress. This is what you're manifesting, Capricorn. And you, uh, you're surrounded by two sevens. So I also feel like this might be in the realm of fantasy, a fantasy realm kind of relationship, which is fine. Like I said, this is just reaffirming that the seven of cups is kind of like all the dreams and fantasies and, that you could be having and possibilities that could be having with this person. Let yourself dream. Let yourself fantasize. Let yourself think about it because it's actually really, really positive for you. The Seven of Swords is almost like you just don't want anybody to know this is what you're really doing and thinking, but that's okay because what the Seven of Swords is doing is looking back to the the Empress. And so, you know, really it's kind of a bit of a cheeky energy when I put those two together and this is the energy I'm getting from it is like I don't want anyone to know I've got this little crush or this little admiration, but... Yeah, I can feel it's bringing this amazing abundance into my life, into my concept of the universe and how the universe provides and what I'm bringing in. So, yeah, I think you're fully aware that this is might be in the realm of imaginal realm, but that's fine. Like, have fun with it. Play with it, Capricorn, because it's only going to be good for you. So I hope that makes sense. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Otherwise, I will take care and I'll see you next time.